Food for thought. What goes around comes around, Professor Louis Luis was once the VC at one of the university. During his tenure, there was an elite struggle and some students were rusticated. Four of the rusticated students came to Tony to challenge the action. He fought the case to the Supreme Court and won. The students went back to complete their studies. Later, Tony was arrested over his anti-SAP conference and was flown to Maiden, then driven to Gisha. At the airport, not knowing where he was being taken to by the security men, Tony played a fast one, he told his captors that he wanted to use the toilet. He got inside the toilet and quickly scribbled on a toilet paper, to whoever uses this toilet, this is Tony. I am being flown to an unknown destination by security men. Please, let the world know. He placed it in a conspicuous place, flushed the toilet as if he just used it and came out. When they got to Maiduguri, they had a brief stop over at the security office, where a lady officer offered Tony a cup of coffee. Tony was hooked on coffee like drug. But this time, the willpower of Tony came on. He told the lady officer, so you people have got information that L can't do without coffee. You think you can poison me? From, today, I stopped taking coffee. That was how he ended his addiction to coffee. He was later moved to Gisha prison, in a most decrepit cell where he collapsed after some substances were sprayed in the cell. He was rushed to the University of Maiduguri Teaching Hospital. When he regained consciousness, he found a doctor examining him and he protested, asking the doctor not to touch him. The doctor, not wanting the security men guarding him to hear, he whispered to Tony's ear, Chief, you are in safe hands. Can't you recognize me? I am. One of the medical students rusticated whom you fought for our reinstatement. I am now a doctor. So, relax. You are in safe hands. And that was how Tony's life was saved, reaping from the good deeds he did earlier, which he had forgotten. Moral of this real life story, do good always and it shall come back to you.